So, hi, my name's Mark Meadowish, I'm the vicar here at St John's and um, it's my pleasure this afternoon to have a conversation with Alan Reynolds, who is one of the church wardens from here, and Rajan Shah, who is the pharmacist from Matic Lane Pharmacy, to talk a little bit about what's going on at St John's Church. And I'm going to come to you first, Alan. Alan, if uh, someone came here, what would they see that we are hosting or involved in as a church family? Uh, it's a long list, Mark. But a couple of things, they'd see the Ealing Soup Kitchen, the church's soup kitchen, which has been based here for the last 45 years. Um, on Saturday and Sunday they would see meals being served to people um, out on the back road here. Um, and on a Monday they'd see the same activity taking place at the Salvation Army Hostel in Leland Road. Um, and we have had lockdown, so we have had distancing and soup kitchen used to be hosted within the building itself. Right. So what's happened this last year? Well, I, I'm not one of the volunteers, but the volunteers are wonderful. They just moved outside to keep safe, and now they do all the serving of the food outside on the road. Same at the Salvation Army, so that the clients can come along and stay safe in the open air, and the volunteers can stay safe as well. And, and how do they do that? Do they get a plate of food and a knife and fork? Yep, and they get takeaway food as well. Food, food they can take away with them. Um, we've had a lot of commercial sponsors come on board in the last year to help out with that and bear some of the costs. That's fantastic. It is and, and, and do you know how many churches approximately are involved in that? Six ministry? or seven churches involved um, from all around Ealing. That is great. A real example of God's kingdom amongst yep. the churches. Yes. And we're sitting here next to yellow um, surgical bins. What's going on here at the moment? Well, this is clinical waste, Vicar. <laughs> Um, and uh, we're also hosting a, a vaccination clinic for COVID vaccination with Matic Lane Pharmacy, as you said earlier, across the road. And uh, has, has that been manned with volunteers? What's going on there, Tom? Well, we're, we're doing the unskilled bit to take some of the load off the skilled pharmacists. So we welcome people, we check their names and we show them where to sit and where to go, because sometimes people are a bit nervous. We help out people who are a bit infirm uh, who've come for their injection. And that's manned by your volunteer team. How many volunteers have you got on your oh, team? Oh, about 40, I think, on the list. Some from St John's, some from other churches, some just from the streets around here, some of the residents who've come forward to volunteer. Great. And that's open when? Um, every, every nine to five every day, except Sunday morning when there's a church service in here. <laughs> OK, and we've got Rajan here, and you've been working with Rajan Shah. Uh, Rajan, tell us. Um, what your experiences of running the vaccination centre here at St John's? So Mark, <coughs> Mark um, we've been running the vaccination centre for two weeks now and um, we've been working with St John's Church. It's, it's been actually a fantastic experience for us. Uh, the team, um, from the office team to the volunteers, have been really, really supportive to us. Um, they've come forward. Nothing's been too much um, bother to them. You know, we've, we've had a little bit of challenges um, setting up the, the vaccination centre, but I must say a big massive thank you to the church and the volunteer team. I mean, um, Alan, you said the unskilled work. Actually, the volunteering team have been a skilled work because they've added value to um, the vaccination centre here. So yeah, we've been going for two weeks. Um, we've done nearly 2,000 vaccinations um, for our local residents, and some of the comments that we have from the local uh, residents is actually it's great to have a vaccination centre on their doorstep so they don't have to travel um, on the buses or the tubes uh, a mile away. So it, it's been a fantastic experience for us. And Rajan, this is a vast building, so it's very aired and safe for people to come in. At, at the moment, what, who can come in to be vaccinated? So, um, yeah, you're right. It, it, there was, um, so we're part of a pharmacy, Matter Claim Pharmacy, and when NHS England came to us, to say, would you be willing to uh, open up a vaccination centre? Initially, they were looking at doing it in the pharmacy, but as you know, our pharmacy is quite small. So uh, the natural place was to find a fantastic site like, like, like the church. Um, so we've got a, plenty of space. Uh, we can do the social distancing really easily. You can see the setup behind us. Um, so currently, the um, vaccination is open to anyone who's over 65 or anybody on a high risk condition such as diabetes, respiratory conditions, heart conditions or if they're a carer for somebody. Um, so they can they can look into us. We've got a great setup, we've got a great team behind us. We just need the patients to now come forward and book with us. So Rajan, just help me understand that so anybody sixty five and over 
yes. can book in via the NHS That's right. to yeah. this church to get their vaccination and you've got space here to get more people Absolutely. through. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So anyone who over 65 and any of the high risk conditions um, that I mentioned, usually anyone who gets a free flu vaccination is able to book. And there's two ways they can book. They can either call 119 or on the national website. Um, if they just type in book a coronavirus vaccination, they will be able to book. What they need to do is put in a postcode, which is W139LA, and our vaccination centre will come up. Fantastic. And what's it like, Alan, as church warden, hosting a vaccination centre? It's, it's tremendous. It's such a buzz because people are so happy to come. They all come early. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're, they're really grateful for all of us for being here. And they love just coming quietly to somewhere they can walk to. Fantastic. Well, that's what's going on at St John's and it's really exciting to be here with uh, all that God seems to be doing amongst us. And um, I hope that you will pray for us as we seek to serve our community in this way.